Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Friday, the 18th day of December. Here we go. So there is a general rule on not drinking stuff like beer in a place, quote-unquote, of non-Jews. So it says in the Gemara and in the Shulchan Aruch, the Code of Jewish Law, that a Jew should not be drinking alcoholic beverages together with stuff like wine, beer, alcohol, together in the place of non-Jews. But that quote called place of non-Jews, you know, allows for some wiggle room in halacha. But the way the Gemara quotes it and the way the Shulchan Aruch, the Code of Jewish Law, quotes it, it seems to be that they don't want us savoring our drink, sitting at a party with them, things that could lead to too much friendship and eventually, God forbid, intermarriage and things like that. And that's why they said don't drink together um, with non-Jews. So based on this, the rabbis do find some leniencies, like if a person were to quickly just want to have a beer out in in a store somewhere and just drink it kind of quickly, but he's not doing it in a way of, um, you know, partying with non-Jews. He's just drinking an alcoholic beverage quickly in a store or outside on a something or other, then it doesn't seem to apply to those types of situations. And um, similarly, if a person were to drink some coffee in a coffee shop with some non-Jews, it seems also that that wouldn't pose as much of a problem as what the rabbis were talking about when they said, don't drink wine together with non-Jews in their places, like a bar is what was intended. So coffee at a coffee shop with some non-Jews seems like it would be okay. While we continue those laws, I want to tell you also that uh, if you're on an airplane and they're serving coffee to each passenger out of a coffee pot, the only problem that could happen with that coffee pot, say some rabbis, is that it's possible that that was washed in hot water together with other uh, pots that were containing non-kosher foods. And that way, that coffee pot could pose a bit of a problem. So if you know that this situation applies to you, please try to clarify, discuss it with your rabbi, make sure. If he says it's okay that you're on this kind of airline, having that kind of drink, that kind of coffee, uh, see if it's okay before just continuing you know, without checking the matter um, further. Um, if you're standing up for eating and drinking in general, there is some talk in the Talmud and also in the Shulchan Aruch about how it's not great to be eating while standing or walking and drinking while standing or walking in situations like that. Some rabbis are lenient and say that that only applied to things like a mitzvah, like a don't have a mitzvah eating done while standing up or a mitzvah drinking done while standing up. But if you're at just at a smorgasbord somewhere and having an egg roll while standing up, it's there is room for leniency in that situation. Although the really righteous type of people always sit down when they eat their foods. It leads to much less problems in the way of brachos and and uh, where's the place that you're eating, where's the place that you're finishing, what's the bracha that goes with it. So do be careful about that and eat, sitting as most often considered the better arrangement. Um, I do have a quote here um, in some in one of the books that I'm looking at that says that the stipler Gon Zatzal, a great great rabbi, um, was known to have he, people saw him having a coffee occasionally while standing up, and that would certainly seem to indicate that at least according to him, a great 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 source for us that having a coffee while standing must be considered okay because he did it. But in general. Um, eating your meals on the run while walking around and those kinds of things, that's generally frowned upon. Thanks for logging on. Have a great Shabbos. Log on again after Shabbos for more. Bye-bye.